Hey guys, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have created this very glam New Year's Eve makeup tutorial for you guys. It's basically just a black smoky eye and then I have added some silver glitter, no white glitter, over the top of it. So if you are interested in how I achieved this look, then please just keep on watching. So as usual I'm starting off with my eyebrows using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony and then I'm using my Dip Brow Pomade also in the shade Ebony from Anastasia Beverly Hills and then just to set them in place I'm using my Gimme Brow by Benefit and this is in the darkest shade and then priming my eyes with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and setting that with the Makeup Geek Shadow White Lies. So I'm starting off with the Makeup Geek shade Creme Brulee on my Sigma E40 and then just to define it a bit more I'm going to be taking my 227 brush from Zoeva and this is just going to act as my transition shade. Then I'm going to take the shade Mocha also from Makeup Geek and this is on my MAC 217 and I'm really really going to place this into the socket and I'm not going to blend it out as much as I did with Creme Brulee. <laughs> Now I'm taking the shade Corrupt also from Makeup Geek and I'm going to be applying this all over my eyelid. Um, I'm not going to take this right up to the crease just so that um, when I blend it out I don't want it to look like I have a black eye. So I'm going to leave it the tiniest little bit away from my crease and then blend it up so that I don't get it up above my crease and onto that mocha shade. I don't know if that even made any sense but you can see what I'm doing. But I am going to be using the shade Mocha to blend the black up into the crease on a 227 Zoeva brush. This blending does take quite a while, I'm not going to lie, but it is all worth it in the end. It looks amazing if you just take your time and blend, blend, blend. <laughs> So I did take a bit of the um, NARS eyeshadow in the shade Nightbreed but I decided that that wasn't dramatic or sparkly enough for New Year's and I ended up taking the shade Cosmic from Urban Decay and this kind of works as a glitter. Um, I just took it on this tiny little flat shader brush and I applied it dry straight onto my eyelid applying it all over that black shade just until it's completely covered and I just layered it up to give it that really nice glittery glistening look. Thankfully there was hardly any fallout so you really don't need to um, apply your eyes first I found with this glitter but I did end up taking a makeup wipe and just cleaning it, it, it up just in case and then I went in and intensified that glitter because you can never have too much glitter on New Year's right? And then we're going to start on the face so I'm priming my face today with the step one equalizer from Makeup Forever. This is still my favorite primer in the entire world and that was really gross that I got on my lip but you know. And now I'm correcting my under eye with the Bobbi Brown Corrector in the shade Light Peach. This is my holy grail makeup product of life. I cannot live without it. Like, look at the difference it makes. It's amazing. Um, for foundation today, I'm taking my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. And I am in the shade Fiji. And I'm just applying this with a damp beauty blender all over my face. <music> Now taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Light One Chantilly and just applying this under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin and my forehead. Just applying it in all these places to balance out the under eye highlight. After using the Beauty Blender, just to diffuse the intense highlight a little tiny bit, I just like to go in with my Real Techniques buffing brush, which already has a bit of foundation on it, and this just helps to make it less in your face highlight. <laughs> And of 
course, setting all of the highlighted areas with my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder with my Models Prefer Highlight Brush. This brush is so amazing for a highlighting, like setting your under eye highlight. It is just the perfect shape and it is so affordable as well. Now I'm using the Rimmel London Stay Matte pressed powder to set the rest of my face with a Models Prefer airbrush brush and then I'm going to be bronzing up my skin with my Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light Ambient Lighting Bronzer and that's a text from my mum, excuse me. <laughs> To contour, I'm using my Hoola by Benefit bronzer on my MAC Small Contour Brush, and I'm just going to be applying this to the hollows of my cheeks, my nose, my forehead, and my jawline. <laughs> And for blush today, I decided to keep it neutral using the shade Smitten from Makeup Geek on a Morphe M509 brush, which is actually my favourite brush to apply blush with at the moment. And now I'm using my MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter just to highlight the normal parts of my face, the tops of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, above my eyebrows, and my cupid's bow. <laughs> And now I'm going to be tight lining my eyes and applying this into the waterline of my eyes with the Maybelline Color Show Black Coal Eyeliner. And I'm also going to be taking this down onto my lower lash line and blending it out with a Zoeva pencil brush. And then taking Creme Brulee again on a larger pencil brush and just blending this over the black shadow to diffuse it a bit. And highlighting my brow bone with that same MAC brush and white lies. And then I'm going to be highlighting it in a corner with the shade Shimmer Shimmer from Makeup Geek. And of course applying some mascara with the Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay. And falsies of course. I had to go intense for New Year's and applied my Goddess Lashes from Coco Lashes. And this is the shade Electra from MAC. Their lip liners are amazing. And then I'm going to be using the lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Undressed. Just any nude would be perfect with this look, I think. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!